And this, again, this first um, section um, is called A Fleeting Glimpse, and for me, that um, really speaks to this wall right here, which is a wall of all street photography, and um, the majority of it's in New York City, and street photography really came to uh, its uh, maturity in the mid-20th century um, with one of the masters, uh, Gary Winogrand, right here, who is also shown on this wall uh, with four images. Um, and Winogrand uh, uh, really kind of came up with this uh, style of photography um, that was happening in the 50s and 60s where photographers are bringing the energy of the street, things are a little off kilter, out of focus. Um, this is a woman walking through a park, holding a child, but look at the anxiety and sort of uh, stress of urbanity that you can see in her face. Um, and so the photographer, um, that one, um, Leon Levenstein, uh, is less well known than a lot of street photographers. He's a great one, and we have a bunch of his in the collection. We have over 80 works by him. Many of these photographers that we have on view are represented by multiples, many multiples of works in the collection. So this exhibition also acts as a tease and a, um, a, a highlight of what we collect in, in depth uh, in, in our photo collection and why it's so well known nationally and why we get so many incredible gifts um, from, from artists to the collection and from collectors to the collection. Uh, which brings me to another incredibly exciting part of this exhibition. We are showing off works that are familiar to those of you who are longtime visitors. You'll know the names of Walker Evans and Robert Glenn Ketchum and Lee Friedlander, uh, but you may not know some of the new works that we've acquired. And it's been our, our pleasure to really sort of bring some of these new pieces to um, this exhibition. One I'm going to draw your, draw your attention to right here by a young artist. This was just acquired in January. It was just made um, yeah, in 2013. Um, so this is a photographer, a young woman. Um, I, I say she's young. This is my age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, new to the collection. And uh, she's a, a German artist, uh, works in Munich and New York. She, um, uh, when you look at this, this is one work. 12 objects, but it's one work, and uh, she works in, in, in with multiple cameras, uh, but we are used to reading things as a narrative, we're used to finding a story, we're used to things having a beginning and an end, and as you're looking at these, I imagine that as you're looking at them, you're looking for a, a beginning, and, 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 and you're trying to read it like a story, but in fact, these are taken with, these 12 images are taken with 12 cameras simultaneously in one second. All radios control. Um, the, the title gives you the address, which is on um, Room Street and Crosby in Lower Manhattan, and the, the remainder of the um, uh, title is the exact minute and second that these all images took place. And being someone who's a, a documentary photographer who's bringing something new because she's a contemporary artist to um, the collection, she's bringing a new contemporary sensibility, working with contemporary cameras, uh, digital cameras. She's also working with contemporary feelings. Um, I, I see in this uh, film still some sort of a, 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 a film of narrative, but I also feel like there's a surveillance kind of thing going on in the fact that we're always uh, we're always being looked at by cameras. Um, there are cameras everywhere. Um, and when you're out, especially in, in big cities, there are small little cameras on light posts in the area like New York and you see you're being looked at by cameras. And I was saying to the group I was talking to earlier, we probably are going to have a drone flying over us anytime tonight. Um, but we're also acting as our own documentarians. We're taking a, a photograph of every apple we eat and when we get in the taxi cab when we're in New York City. Um, everything we do is broadcast back um, you know, from ourselves out into the world. So if we're not being looked at by a camera by somebody else, we're doing it to ourselves. And so her work shows us that at any given moment, um, there's a camera here in this room that is taking this photograph. So at the same time, a different person is seeing a whole apple while another person is seeing an apple that was a vital. It's the same apple at the same time. When you ask someone, you know, after an event, you know, after a major event that's happened, you ask three people and you get three stories. So this piece really speaks to me as, you know, talk to 12 people on the street, they will have seen, they will get attention to the taxi cab or something else. And as you look at this, and I encourage you to look at it really closely, um, 
you'll find the cameras and people with cameras. There's a, there's a gentleman on the street taking a photograph, which is likely another one happening somewhere else. So it's a really remarkably orchestrated and accidental event that she has created uh, with this object.